Hi, this is Mike. I'm out here in front of the RPS warehouse and today I'm going to talk about why it's important to clean your solar panels. So we have a panel here. This is two 100 watt panels. This comes with our RPS 200 kit. And as you can see, it's been outside for a couple of months now and it's a little dirty. We have some dust and dirt. We have some bird poop on it. Um, and I want to show you how this is affecting your power output. Now your panels don't have to be cleaned all that often. We're talking every three to six months or so. That'd be every four or two times a year to clean up your panels. Um, but it can help produce more power. And if you're not cleaning them regularly, you're throwing that power away and either you're not producing the power uh, to provide to the utility grid, or in our case, you're not using that power to pump extra water. We have the panels running over to a constant current load meter. So what that meter is doing is it's adjusting the current in order to maintain the proper voltage. And right now we have it set at right about 36 volts. And if you take a look over there, uh, we are producing around 145 watts of power. And so out of 200 watts, a uh, nice sunny day, we should be producing more like 180 to 190 watts of power. So as you can see, we have degraded the amount of power we're producing due to the debris, dust, and dirt on this panel. Okay, so let's get cleaning. As you can see on the meter, we're in constant voltage mode. So that means the load is going to maintain 36 volts and it's going to adjust the current up and down in order to maintain that constant voltage. So as you'll see, a higher current means we're getting more power out of the panels and a lower current means we're getting less power out of the panels. So it does not take much to clean these panels. We'll start with a washcloth and get everything nice and wet. In another video, we used a mop or a broom. That works just as well. Um, but here, since we're at ground level, we can uh, just use a rag. So there's some thick stuff on here. I'll start by just kind of scraping it off. That'll get it loosened up. Much easier to get off with the washcloth. So one of the big problems with mounting solar panels is burrs are gonna love to sit up on the top and you know what comes after that. And so if you're in an area with a lot of birds who are doing that, one is you're gonna to wanna to clean your panels a little more often, every couple of months, or you're gonna to wanna to try to put like a bird strip or spikes up on top to help prevent them from sitting up there. Ultimately, it's not a huge problem. So just washing them a little more often is usually good enough. The solar panels are sealed. The solar cells are behind a layer of glass and they also have a laminate on the back of the panel so water is not going to hurt them. So don't be shy in getting your panels nice and wet in order to clean them real well. All right, so as you can see, it's looking pretty good here. We're not going for perfection. We're just trying to get the big pieces of dirt, dust, and debris off in order to increase our power output. All right, those are looking pretty good. It took about five minutes, and we have our panels pretty clean here. Uh, normally you can just let them drip dry. Right now I'm going to give them a quick wipe off so we can go back and check the power meter to see how we did here. Okay, so we've got our solar panels clean. They're looking pretty good here. And I just took a look over at the meter and what we're doing is at 36 volts we're doing about 5.1 amps, which is 183 watts of power. And so that is a 26% increase just from about five minutes of cleaning these panels. It didn't take much. And over the next three months, we're gonna be producing about 25% more power. That's every day, six hours a day, which can be a significant increase if you're trying to utilize the maximum production of your system. 
So a quick cleaning here gave us a significant increase in power. If you're interested in a solar well pump, visit us at rpssolarpumps.com. Also, check out our YouTube channel. We're coming out with new tutorials every week about solar panels and how to maintain them and how to size your systems.